We must move quickly. The Jedi are relentless. If they are not all destroyed, it will be civil war without end. Palpatine as this process unfolded, the Emperor saw the respected Karmazi as a threat to his new order, so he ordered the devastation of their home planet Karmas. A group of Bothan infiltrators were responsible for sabotaging Karmas's shield generators, leaving the planet vulnerable to Imperial orbital bombardment. The once beautiful world was devastated during this attack, turned into a poisoned wasteland. The peaceful Karmazi were dispersed throughout the galaxy. In 18 BBY, the Emperor constructed the huge, asteroid-shaped superweapon Eye of Palpatine in order to use it to destroy a Jedi enclave on Belsavis. However, the deadly superweapon was sabotaged by two Jedi Knights and the Jedi on Belsavis managed to escape. Around the same time, a group of beings were protesting the tyranny of the Galactic Empire on the planet Gorman in the CERN sector. Wilhuff Tarkin's flagship was blocked by peaceful protesters who stood on the ship's landing pad and refused to move. With implied permission from Palpatine, Tarkin landed the ship anyway, right on the protesters, injuring and killing many. This came to be known as the Gorman Massacre. The alliance to restore the Republic was founded in its wake. Many Jedi also rebelled against Palpatine's regime. Only Starston and a group of Order 66 Jedi survivors along with Rhone Shrine attempted to re-establish the Jedi Council but were unsuccessful. The group fled to Kashyyyk to find out if any Jedi survived there but the Empire launched a massive takeover of the planet. Darth Vader killed Roan Shrine and some of the Jedi, with Starston barely escaping with her life. A Wookiee among them, named Chewbacca, fled the city to find his family. Meanwhile, Ferris Olin along with his friends including Jedi Master Solace caused much havoc on Imperial-controlled planets including a rebellion on the planet of Belassa, the two Jedi break-ins of the destroyed Jedi Temple on Coruscant, and the destruction of an Imperial garrison and weapon munitions center on Naboo. Also on Kessel, a group of Jedi including Master Choi Choi and Jedi Knight Baltar Swan planned to draw Darth Vader into a trap and kill him. Due to exceptionally bad planning and tactics, every one of them was killed, though Vader's suit was slightly damaged. In 1 BBY, the Emperor and Vader were the targets of an attempted coup by a group of treacherous Imperial officers led by Grand Moff Tractor. Tractor saw the Sith as foolish and archaic, and believed that the Empire should not be ruled by a two-man cult. They planned to use a batch of altered stormtroopers loyal only to them to destroy the two Sith Lords. However, their plot failed in part because of internal fighting between the co-conspirators.